In this video, I'll show you how to estimate the cost of masonry walls and what are the materials required for block work and how to quantify and estimate the cost of these materials starting right now. Hello and welcome to Cost Engineering Professional. I am Ahmed Adil and here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is something that you want, this channel is for you. So with this out of the way, let's jump to the screen and see how can we estimate the cost of block works. And as you can see here, I am at bill number four, which is the masonry works. And actually we have different types of block here. We have solid block, we have hollow block and we have thermal block and different wall thickness also under each of these block categories. And I want to estimate the cost. So how to do that? The first thing we will do is that we will create our cost estimation format, which is this one. And if you don't know how to create this format, we have one video here on the channel that will show you exactly how to do it. It will be in the description and in the top right corner. So after you create this format, we need now the price of the materials, equipment, manpower and subcontractor. So what you need to do, you need to copy this part, which is the types of the block work that you have and all the wall thickness that you have. And we will copy this and we will go and paste it here. So I'll have just the block type and I'll have each wall thickness under each one of these wall types. And now I need to see what are the materials required for each of these wall types. So what we need, we need to supply the block and there will be some wastage on the block that we will supply. So we have to consider that. And we need mortar also. And there will be some wastage for this mortar. And we need some steel mesh reinforcement or metal lath that will be required. And we will need some angles. So in order to understand these things very well, let's jump to the AutoCAD and see what these items look like. And here, as you can see here on the AutoCAD, now we have the block wall here and I'll just be studying one square meter of that wall to see how many blocks will come inside here and what is the quantity of mortar that will come inside one square meter. So I'll just take this one square meter outside here so that it can be more visible. And to understand the number of blocks that will come inside one square meter, what I need to do, I need to divide this area, which is one square meter. I'll divide it by the area of one block, which is 20 centi multiplied by 40 centi. So one divided by 0.2 divided by 0.4. This will give me the number of blocks that are here in one square meter. So I'll go back to Excel. And as you can see here, this is the quantity 12.5 which is one divided by 0.2 divided by 0.4 or one divided by open a bracket 0.2 into 0.4. So this is how we get the numbers required of block in each one square meter. And now this number will depend only on the dimensions of the block. So if the block is 0.4 into 0.2, always you will need 12.5 blocks here, despite the wall thickness. So for the various wall thickness, still we will have 12.5. This will be our quantity required of block work to make or to prepare one square meter of block. Now, the second part is the rate. How much is the block? So these blocks are different in the type, like some of them is solid, some is hollow, some is thermal, and also the thickness is different. So the rate will be different for each one of them. So you need to put the rate here per block each block of these 12.5 one block how much it is and you can link this cell to your material sheet you can have a material sheet like this where you list down all the types of block that you have and the supply rate will be for example dirhams per piece so each piece will cost this much so if i need 12.5 pieces into the rate of each of them this will be the amount required to supply 12.5 blocks to make one square meter of block wall. So this is the first part, supply of block. The second part is the wastage. I'll consider here 10% wastage on this. So if I need 12.5 blocks, I need in addition to that, I need 1.25 number of block to make one square meter of block. So the quantity is just 10% of this quantity will be the quantity here. And the rate will be similar to the rate we have used here for the block work 
to get the amounts for the wastage. So for example, for this one, which is solid block, 150 mm thick, I need 28 dirhams to supply the block and I need an additional 2.8 dirhams as a wastage. So this plus this will be the cost of the block that I will need to make one square meter of block wall. This is the first part. Now going to the mortar, I need to go to the AutoCAD again. And as you can see here, the first thing I want to know how many linear meters of mortar here, because actually the mortar is priced in cubic meter. So I need to understand what is the volume of mortar that will come in one square meter of block. And to know that I need to know how many linear meters here of mortar and I'll multiply that by the height or the thickness of this mortar and then it will be multiplied by the wall thickness to get the volume of mortar. And the mortar, by the way, is these red lines that you can see here. So all I need is the volume now. And to do that, I'll create this small sheet. So I list down the wall thickness here that I have. I have 100, 150, 200, 250. And I need the length first thing. So how many linear meters of mortar is coming here? As you can see, this line is one meter. So I need one, two, three, four, five. So these are five linear meters. And these lines, I need here three and here two and here three and here two. So that's 10 of them. So 10 into 20 centimeters, that's another two meters. And then the last part I have three small here and two small here. So that's five. So five into 0.1 or five into 10 centi, that's 50 centi. So I need five plus two plus 0.5. So that's 7.5 linear meters of mortar, as you can see here, for all the wall thickness. The second part is the edge. The edge is actually the height of the mortar because here I draw it as a single line, but in reality, this is not a single line. This has some height and this height will be like two centimeters. So that's why I am multiplying here by 0.02. And the last part is the wall thickness itself because the mortar will be inside the wall, like in this direction. So this will depend only on the wall thickness. So here for the 100 mm thickness is 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.25 and 0 0.3. So when I multiply these three numbers, I get the volume of mortar required for each of these wall thicknesses. Okay. So this is the volume that I'll be pricing now. This is the volume of mortar that will be required for one square meter of block walls. So as you can see here, this wall is 150 thick. Then here, as you can see, the 150 is 0.02. So the 0.02 will come here in cubic meter. Of course, this will be the quantity of mortar required in cubic meter. And let's take another example, for example, the 250. So for the 250, I need 0.04. So this is the 250. Here is the quantity of mortar 0.04 cubic meter. And then the rate of one cubic meter of mortar, this rate, I'll take it from the material list. And we have one video here on the channel, the link in the top right corner and in the description that shows you how to calculate the cost or the price of one cubic meter of mortar. So when you multiply the quantity of mortar by the rate of mortar, you get the amount required for mortar. And actually you can also put the rate of mortar in your material sheet. As you can see here, cement and sand mortar, I am putting it as 190 dirhams per cubic meter. And I am linking these cells to that one. So if I do any changes here in any of these prices, my all calculations will get impacted. So when you link everything together, this will be a very good. So you can create this sheet one time and use it again and again in the future, just changing the rates of everything. So again, back to the mortar, we have the quantity of the mortar required for one square meter and the rate of the mortar. And when you multiply the quantity by the rate, you get the amount required for the mortar for each one square meter of these walls. Now, the fourth part is the wastage of mortar. And that's, again, I am considering here 20% as a wastage. So whatever volume I need of mortar, I'll just multiply that by 0.2 as a 20%. So I'll get a new quantity as a wastage of mortar, and it will be multiplied by the same rate of the mortar, which is 190. So I'll get the amount that I need for the wastage. 
So the parts that I have finished so far is the supply of block and wastage of block and mortar and wastage of mortar. Now the two remaining parts are the metal lat and the angles. And to understand these two, we need to go back to the AutoCAD. So here, let me just open the layer. So as you can see here, this will depend on the project specifications. Every two lines of block or maybe every three lines, I will need to put one steel mesh here. So I'm considering here every two lines, I am putting one, which is this green line. Again, two lines of block, I am putting a steel mesh. Two lines of block, I am putting a steel mesh and so on. So when you extract these green lines outside, you will find it looks like that. But the question is now, inside one square meter, how many linear meters of these meshes will come? And actually, if we just look to our one square meter here, you can see that we have one meter here and one meter here of block mesh. But actually, this is not very much accurate. And I prefer to study this or to calculate the quantity per square meter on the full wall. So what I'm going to do here, I'll assume that this full wall is four and the height is 3.3. So the area of this wall is four into 3.3. I'll get the area and I want to see how many linear meters of this block mesh I need here for to cover this area. And then when we divide them or when we do the cross multiply, we can understand each one square meter of block work have how much or how many linear meters of this metal lat. So going back here, I found that we need eight lines of metal lat and the length of each of them is 4.2. So when I multiply eight by 4.2, I get 33.6 linear meters. So the total linear meter here is 33.6. How? The number is eight and each of them is 4.2. So when I multiply eight by 4.2, I get 33.6. So this is the total linear meters of metal lath or the mesh required to cover this area, which is four into 3.3. So actually four into 3.3, four into 3.3, that's an area of 13.2 square meters. So I need 33.6 linear meter of metal lath to cover an area of 13.2 square meters. So if I want to cover an area of one square meter only, you do the cross multiply, you understand that you need 2.55 linear meters of metal lath and not only two, because if you will calculate from here, you will see that you need only two linear meters, but this is not true. We need 2.55 linear meters of metal lath in each square meter of block. So for the metal lath, the quantity here, the quantity of metal lath required for one square meter of block will be 2.55 linear meter. And actually the rate of this will vary and it will depend on the wall thickness. So for the 150, the rate per linear meter will be different from the one from the 200, which is 0.6, I'm having here 0.46 and so on. And actually when they sell the metal lath, they sell it per roll. So as you can see here, I have the metal lath and this price is per roll, but each roll is 50 linear meter. So if I divide 16, for example, divided by 50, I will understand how much is the cost of each linear meter, which is the rate that I am putting here. So for this one, I am dividing the 16 divided by 50, that's 0.46. So when you multiply 2.55 into 0.46, you get an amount of 1.17 dirham for the metal lab. The last part, which is the angles, actually here again, when we go back to the AutoCAD, for each of these lines, I need two angles from this side to fix it to the wall and to the block here. And I need two angles also from this side to fix to the wall and to fix to the block. So for each of these lines, I need four angles, two from this side and two from this side. So if I go back here, I have eight lines and for each of these lines, I need four angles. So the total number of angles is 32 angles. And I need 32 angles again to cover the area, which is four into 3.2. So I need 32 angles to cover this area. So what about one square meter only? So you will do the cross multiply. You will understand that each one square meters require 1.24 angles. And this will be my quantity here. And actually this is in numbers. So I'll just change that here. 
okay and this rate is the rate per each piece so you get the amount now regarding the total amount the total amount will be equal to the supply of block plus the wastage of block plus the mortar plus the wastage of mortar plus the metal lap plus the angles and I am getting the materials required for each of these wall types here in this total column now this total column should go to our estimation sheet here so for the first wall which is 150 mm thick I'll just here in the materials I'll say equal to and I'll go there to the material cost and I'll say it is equal to this much so this is the cost of the materials required for the 150 solid block then I can use this formula for all the other walls so I am getting here the prices of the materials for each of these walls equipment you can consider let's say two or three dirhams or something and for the manpower actually I have a manpower sheet here so I'll say equal to I'll go to the manpower and for the block work I am assuming the cost here is 20 and I'll say equal to this one and I'll fix the row so dollar sign 13 so that I can use the same formula for all the walls and actually regarding this sheet I have explained also this sheet in one video here on the channel the link is in the top right corner and in the description down below so you can watch to see how can we do this sheet and now going back to our BOQ we have priced as you can see here the total rate is subcontractor plus manpower plus equipment plus material so I'm having the total cost rate here and as we said we have two items which are sundry items and there is no quantity it is just measured in items so the quantity is one so I'll just have to assume some amount here and also for this one let me just have some numbers okay so i have some numbers here because this item actually is the stiffeners so that's concrete work so i'll need some steel and concrete and i'll need some form work i'll need manpower and i'll need carpenters and steel fixers this manpower is for the concrete casting and i am assuming the carpenter and the steel fixer to be a subcontractor here so as you can see i am getting 1.3 million as a total cost and if i go to my boq i'll say equal to 1.2 for example into this cost rate to get the BOQ rate and I can use the same formula for all the items so I get here almost 1.6 million as the price of this BOQ and the cost is here 1.3 and these are two of the three videos that we have talked about in this video you can watch them and learn from them how to do these things and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.